part two. All right. So inside the atom, we have what? Oh, wait, you can't answer me. So I'll answer myself. So inside the atom, we have what we call as the nucleus. And the nucleus contains our protons and our neutrons. So protons are a positive charge, like I hinted at last time. Neutrons have absolutely no charge, but they add to our atomic mass unit. AMU means atomic mass unit. So when you look at a lovely, beautiful periodic table, it gives you the atomic mass unit of, of which is basically your mass, mass number. So that is going to tell you how many protons and neutrons are found on average inside a nucleus. So energy levels are the outside of the nucleus. They surround it. They are based on Bohr's model where electrons are normally found. Now, of course, we know the electron cloud model, which is what we use in the modern model to tell you exactly where they are. But the energy levels, this is where they are normally found. They have no mass unit. They are not inside the nucleus. They are so tiny that they don't even add a mass or change the mass at all. So energy levels give volume and chemical properties. So if you lose uh, a electron, you now have a different chemical property or a different volume, or something is going to happen to said object. Uh, it also prevents two atoms from occupying the exact same space because they bounce off one another. Uh, you know how we talk about solids, liquids, and gases, and how there is much more movement. So solids are vibrating against each other. So a solid is consi consistently moving down the atomic level, but it has, they are still bouncing off of one another. They're not occupying the same space. So atoms are elect electrically neutral. They have the exact same amount of electrons as they have protons. So that means whatever the proton number or the atomic number so, for instance, gold has an atomic, atomic number of 79. That means it has 79 protons and 79 neutrons. It is a charge of zero. Now, if it has a charge of one or, or plus one or minus one, that means it is no longer an atom. It is now something different called an ion, but we will get to that later. Uh, so, atomic number is the same as protons and electrons. You can get this number from the periodic table. Now, a mass number is protons plus neutrons. So, for instance, the sodium, so sodium, is Na with an atomic number of 11. That means there are 11 protons, 11 electrons. But the mass number is 23. That means we have to take the, the number of protons, which is 11, and subtract the mass number, which would equal 12 neutrons. Or if we know the number of neutrons and protons, we can add them together and equal our mass number of 23. So boron, boron has an atomic number of five and a mass number of 11. This means we take our five or five protons, we subtract it from our mass number. Now we know that there are six neutrons. Now let's do this together. We're going to go through. So for instance, manganese, is going to have 25 protons, 25 electrons, and, a, and that means its number or atomic number is going to be 25. There are 30 neutrons. That means there is a mass number of 55. Now, fluorine. Fluorine has nine electrons, so that means, of course, we're talking about a neutral atom. That means we're going to have nine protons. Now, if we add nine protons of nine neutrons, it's going to give us nine plus nine is 18. Now, aluminum, if we have 13 protons, if we're neutral, we're going to have 13 electrons. But we have a mass number of 27. So 27 minus 13 equals 14 for our neutrons. Let's do one more. This is simple, but we are going to go through it because like I've always said about chemistry, we build and build and build and build and build till we know everything about this subject. So we start off small and we grow big, kind of like the atom. So potassium, 19, of course, because there's 19 electrons. We see that there are 39 in the mass number. So 39 minus 19 is going to be 20. All right. And that is all for today. Now, I'm going to have a spot for you to do 
this review concept in your um, Edpuzzle so you don't have to worry about that. Short, nice and easy review today, or review, or hopefully that you guys knew something about protons and neutrons and electrons, at least. But that is all. I will talk to you later.